Branding is the interface between the audience and your product. Branding communicates to your audience what your product is about and who you are as a company. Your brand is often the first thing that people see when they see your product. So it's their introduction to you. And it informs the way that they perceive and the way that they use your product. It actually shapes their experience. But branding doesn't just exist in a vacuum. It's not simply the way that your product or your company communicates with the outside world. It's the interaction between your company and your product and the outside world. It reflects the way that your communications enter the mind of your audience and are perceived by your audience. So your brand isn't just a logo or a font or a color scheme. It's who you are. It's how other people view your company and they view it as if it were a person. So the sort of instant quick way that we can attach and feel like we understand people is similar to the instant quick intuitive way that we can attach and understand brands. So in that sense, branding is an affinity that people have about your company. It's a vague understanding of who you are as a business, what you represent, and why you exist. It's also an abstract connection. So it's this gut feeling that we have about a company and it's difficult to articulate. And that's why it's a form of art. In order to understand how people arrive at an understanding of your brand, you have to understand human psychology. You have to understand how we form concepts, how we build mental models for things, and ultimately how we form meaning. You have to understand how humans build a representation of the world, how they understand the world. And you have to understand universal human values because tapping into these common values is the quickest way for an audience to understand who you are. But you can't simply ask people what their values are. You can't simply ask them what motivates them or how they form meanings. We're not very good about understanding what drives us and articulating that. In fact, sometimes we're pretty bad about explaining the reasons behind why we do what we do. So you have to observe people's behavior. You have to look at the language that they use, the way they describe themselves. You have to look at their view of the world. And from that, you can infer their underlying motivations. So when you understand their values, you can determine if their values align with what you have to offer. And when your values align with the audience, then the audience will intuitively understand your brand. When they understand your brand like that, that actually increases the perceived value of your product. It reduces the friction between the audience and your product, and it creates meaning, and people pay more for meaning. In order to understand people's values, motivations, and meanings, you have to observe them with empathy. That's why empathy is so important in marketing. So we look at them from many different angles, the demographics, the psychographics, to surveys, interviews, and observations. We look at third-party research, academic research, purchase patterns, shopping and consumer behavior, and media use. And from all this data, we detect patterns. We do a pattern recognition, and we form hypotheses about the mind of the audience based on those patterns. And these hypotheses are shaped until we arrive at an understanding of the mind of the audience, and this informs branding and it forms our creative. So psychology informs creative. And these psychological foundations that we arrive at, they're embedded in all aspects of the brand character. They inform the design, they inform the messaging, they inform the look and the feel of the product. And they inform the expectations that people have about products. They inform the reputation of the brand and they inform people's experience with the product. So these psychological insights help us use the right language, the right rituals, and the right imagery to connect with the audience. Now these messages reach the audience through touch points. Our creative work reaches the audience through touch points. Touch points are the interface between your product and the audience. They're where people have access to the brand and they can begin to recognize what your product represents. And these include television advertisements, digital advertisements, social media advertisements, print ads, out of home pieces like billboards, as well as real life and digital experiences. The audience's attitudes and values need to be considered when they get exposed at these different touch points. 
and after their attitudes and values are considered, then we can embed persuasive psychological principles within that touch point. These psychological principles are aligned with the specific behavioral events surrounding that touch point, and it leads to new users, repeat users, brand loyalty, and trust. So considering the mind of the audience and the details of the touch point increases the psychological connection between the brand and the audience, it builds affinity for your product, and it drives behavior change. Intermark Group is a full-service ad agency that embeds applied psychology and behavior science into our creative. Hit the subscribe and the bell button to stay in tune in our post where we'll be talking about applying psychological principles to marketing. Hit the like if you like this and feel free to share it. Let us know in the comments what you think about these ideas and check out the description below to learn more about Intermark Group. Thanks for checking out this video.